and tell me about this map. I copied this map from J.Q. Welcher, who's one of the five originals that sold the property. They own a the camp. So this is kind of a subdivision, right? Yeah. So he had to divide up. And so I copied his, because I was his mailman, so I copied it at his kitchen table. And it's pretty pretty close to being scaled. And it's as good as a pencil can get. And there's the owners. And so I confronted them about where the property line's at. Now, tell me again for the record here where this property is located in general. Mm -hmm. This is on the borderline between Virginia and West Virginia, mm -hmm. around the Patty's Knob area. Mm -hmm. No. This, this piece of property more, is, is on the borderline between Bath County and Pocahontas County. Okay. And it's located above, at the headwaters of, of uh, Meadow Creek that feeds into Lake Sherwood. Okay. And then on the Virginia side, Lake New Mall is down over the mountain. And then Alley, this is on the Allegheny chain of mountain. The Allegheny Trail goes through it. So that West Virginia border, Virginia border is running right through there somewhere, yeah. right? So, Pocahontas County claimed all of this was in West Virginia. They Pocahontas? Taxed, yeah. And it's because it was filed in West Virginia. Uh, in this has been disclosed at their hearing up there when Mr. Facemire was trying to change the state line for his property site. This guy, James A. Facemire. But a, a person in the, uh, that I'm going to keep quiet because I don't know if he still works for him or not because he's just being nice. He says none of that property up there is worth the, the titles are not worth nothing uh -huh. because it's inaccurate. And so I started quizzing about it and I asked you know, the, the, the assessor about it. And he says, no, it's all in West Virginia. And now, who, I, who's the assessor you're talking about? Dolan? I'm talking about Dolan, yeah. Okay, so he and says it's all in West it Virginia. It was all in West Virginia. Oh, okay. So I went down to Charleston and went. I got the thing in the book here, who I saw. Excuse me. He got on the computer and took what was filed in Charleston and it's just about as big as around them little squares the whole area. And he kept expanding, 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 enlarging, enlarging. And then he transferred it over onto the topo map. Right. And then he, he drew a line, not this one, but another piece of paper I'll show you later. He drew the line where the state line was at. Right. And he even commented that it, uh, it has to be an official survey, not a surveyor that I produce, or Pocahontas County, it had to be an official being a geological survey people would have to do it. Okay. So I took that and showed Dolan that because I'm paying, paying part of my property is in Virginia and I'm paying taxes for that, that part is in Virginia to West Virginia. See, all this property that falls in there, these two houses here are not even close to being in West Virginia, but West Virginia taxes them. So they're getting some taxes off of Virginia that, property? Yeah. All this, all this, every one of these pieces of property fronts Cary Lane. Cary okay. Lane is in Virginia. Okay. Okay. So I'll show you the other piece that. So there's quite a bit of property here in reality. Well, I don't, I don't know what quite, a bit is, what, what quite a bit is. Like, I, my estimation is about almost four tenths of an acre. Almost half of my property is in Virginia. Okay. Okay, and then of course it it leases down in here. I didn't do the rest of them, but just mine. But these are the, these pieces of property owned by Roses, and they're totally in West Virginia or in Virginia, and yet they pay taxes and garbage and everything to West Virginia. And they use that garbage thing basically as a tool to uh, beat you with that if you fail to pay it, they're going to come after your property. So they'd be essentially taking Virginia's property. Yes, they will. So wow. I took the We might have a civil war all over again. Yeah. I took the thing down to Virginia and they said, and they called over there, and they said that Dolan would not release the title. Which I don't understand what that means because I don't care if he has it, would release the titles or not. He can't release what's in Virginia. He has no right. What, nobody right. in West Virginia has a right to tax what's in Virginia. And it's like they don't want to do anything because it's, it's a, probably it's worth more, cost more than what it's worth. But what it's worth is the constitutionality of the people that own property there. You know? And like whenever I went down there and finally 
when and they, the only way to test it is just not pay the taxes. Yeah, but then you, you stand to lose your property. Right. And like even myself, on my property, I'm 69 years old as of yesterday, and I went down and asked for a homestead exemption, and they wouldn't award it to so me. So you can't get, even though... Uh, I'm a West Virginia resident. When Pocahontas County uh, refuses to assesses your property, yeah. they won't give you a homestead exemption. Right. Don says I don't live there, and then I asked him where did I live. He said I don't know where you live, but you don't live there. Well, if you can say that to anybody in this world, has he ever sent anybody out there to look at your property? Yes. The just here about a week or two ago. Uh, the junior deputy or whatever he came up as a boy, but. I have been down here, I've, I've given the, what Charleston gave me to let the prosecuting attorney look at it, you know, to show that where I live at, right, and what the state of West Virginia said. The state of West Virginia gave me copies of the law that says it has to be the topo map, and they put the date, or the, the identification of the topo map, that it has to go by that. Okay. You know, it's not, it's not a matter of do I want to or not, but that is the boundary. Right. And I can live, I'm living with them. I mean, I, I just want to straighten it out. I don't like the idea of being refused my homestead exemption, which the state is. And then I'm kind of going to sideline here, but when I went down and filed to register for vote, and I forget what that lady's name was, Fife or Phil or something like that. Creel. Creel. Um, it's sick. It's whatever title is there, the budget registration, and I got. I have to use an address for license. Right. And my residence is in this part that fronts Cary Lane is in Virginia, so that's my address. That's my postal address. And according but to your house is actually in is actually, West Virginia. The house actually is in West Virginia, about about ten feet. Okay. And so. So you're losing out on your homestead exemption. Yeah. But that but that front part they've never Pocahontas County has never recognized that. And Dolan said he was not going to recognize what the people down in Charleston gave me. And that, there's the problem. That they don't want to sell it. It's just like this part of Highland County, you know. And I think, and I get back on the voting thing, I served. I'm a vet, Vietnam veteran. And to tell me that I can't vote, I can't have homestead exemptions. If I can't have any of these things from West Virginia, then why should I do anything in West Virginia, pay anything? Yeah. I mean, they've actually taken away my citizenship. Because if you can't vote, you're not an American citizen. That's what boils down to. Yeah. And I've never been convicted of a... Of, I've never been charged with a felony either. Right. I've never been convicted. I've never been uh, arrested for anything. I've they never just even don't want a, to... They want your... They, they want, want your, my money, but they don't your want money. Your money. But they don't want you voting? Yeah. And... And I recognize You would be in Joe Dolan's district, wouldn't you? I He's guess. running for county commission. I guess. Uh, I don't know what the... I don't do do too much in West Virginia anymore because uh, it's, it's a distance to Marlington to come down that road. It's six miles from a hardtop road. And it's not... So who, who delivers the mail? Now, the mail don't come up here. Oh. The mail is six miles away so on the So you West have Virginia to go side. down... Where do you go to get your mail? I have to go 7.1 miles to get my mail because it's in Virginia. My mailbox is on 39 on the Virginia side of the Allegheny Mountain. And uh, this guy up here, Hedrick, he's, his mailbox is on the West Virginia. How far would you have to go to um, go to a West Virginia post office? To the post office? Yeah. You might have to go all the way to Marlington. So that would be... That would be about... 20 miles one way. So it's your other, the, the mailbox you use is is just 7.1 7. 7. miles. Yeah. Okay. So in, anyway, the emergency rescue squad, the 911 system came up and when they gave me the, a street address, they, I used to have a post office or a roadside box right. and it was in Virginia. Well, we had to get rid of the road, the, the designation of the, the box. We had to have a physical street address. Okay. That was Kerry Lane, and we went. I went down there, and he gave me the number seventy, Kerry Lane, because they gave you one digit for every five and a half feet. 
Right. So we walked it up there. We put it in. The, we put it in the middle of my lot, and that's how I got the number seventy. And now, was this a, 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 a Pocahontas County 911 guy or, no, no, this or is Bath? Bath County. Okay. Because so the street is in Virginia. Okay, the street is in Virginia. And all this, all this property here faces, abuts that street. You, don't, you uh -huh. cannot get to any of this property without going through into Virginia. So you have to go into the, Virginia to get to West yeah. Virginia. Okay. You can't get out unless you walk. You can't get out because the National Forest Road is down below us here, 55 coming up in there. And you don't even have any telephone service there, right? No. Uh, is there electrical service yeah, there? Yeah, there's no electrical service. Uh, there's no utilities. Um, the telephone system, they finally put a telephone system in because whenever the 911 system came in, I asked for a telephone. Right. You know, and they said they couldn't do it. And this is the telephone company before Frontier. It was quite a few years so ago. So it was, yeah. And so I said, wait a minute now. If I'm paying for 911, you got to let me have access. So you to also it. pay uh, on your telephone bill, you pay right. a 911 yeah, fee. Yeah. Which when is I not very to. much, but you do have yeah. to pay it. I yeah, wonder where that money goes to. I don't know who, how, it how it's set up. But anyway, I guess a telephone company pays the government or something. But uh, so finally, uh, the National Force tried to stop the telephone company from the line up here. So the, is the National Force didn't want to the telephone Force, line there? They made it difficult for them. Okay. And they plotted for how to get the phone line up off of 92. Yeah. And they brought it up to a, a ridge about two ridges over from where it comes up through now, it's called the wide man. And, and it's nothing but rock, and a telephone guy came up and said, we can't get through that, you know, because the telephone line's got to be buried a, a foot in the ground, because the National Force won't any lines across it. So they showed me that, and I looked at it, and I said, well, I got a topo map. I said, why are you going up that ridge for it when you can go up a Jeep trail? You, I can drive my car up. Right. And why not come up that? So they wanted to do that, so I ended up going to Charleston to a public service office down there and filed a complaint with them that they would